Hey everybody, it's Susan with Pumpkin Hill Stampers. I have another Stamp and Share card to show you today. This one's using Festive Phrases. It's in our holiday catalog. You can still get it through the first couple of days of January. Today we're going to feature this cute little happy elf that's holding this lovely Happy Holidays sign. So I'm going to show you how I put this card together and then also so you know all of the details along with this video will be posted to Pinterest and my blog um, so you can get all the details of what you need to complete the cards yourself um, and if you want to you can buy kits uh, product share kits that I can send you in the mail so you know if you don't want to buy an entire package of the designer series paper that we're featuring you can just say hey Susan I want to make that card I've got the stamp sets and I'll send you all the pre-cut pieces to make this card. Alright, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to have a white card base when we're all done. I'm going to put that aside for right now. I'm going to use Old Olive as my card mount and I've run that through the Holly embossing folder and so I've done that already. So that's going to be our card base. Um, then I've got pairing that with Garden Green and this is a piece of designer series paper from the Merry Little Christmas designer series paper pack and that's kind of cool. I always think it looks like a mountainside of snow and trees so that's a really cool piece to use in the background for this. So those are kind of easy pieces. So I'll set those aside for a second. Then I'm using, I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here Obviously I'm using the Happy Little Elf and I'm going to stamp him in Memento Black. Now any black will do. I use Memento because it dries quickly. Um, I'm going to be coloring him with markers and pencils today. But if you've got the new blends, Memento is the black you want to use. If you want to use your blends. <clears throat> then the other piece I'm going to stamp I'm going to borrow the Christmas tree from Santa's sleigh. So I'm going to stamp that in garden green. Okay, so I'm stamping that in garden green. There we go. And then I'm going to take that to the big shot and cut it out with the framelits that go with that Santa slice set. So you don't have to fussy cut that tree at all. Okay, so I've got that tree all cut out. Now I'm going to come in with my, so I stamped it in garden green, now I'm going to come in with my old olive marker and I'm going to shade in branches on that tree. Um, you could leave it with the white if you wanted to, with like a snowfall on the tree. I'm just choosing to tie those two greens together instead. So remember, it's your card. You can decide which parts of my sample to follow and which parts of my sample you want to change up. It would be really pretty too if you um, inked it with the Wink of Stella. That would give it some sparkle and make it look like it was covered in snow uh, before it was colored in green. If you did it right on the white, that would be kind of neat effect as well. Let me just finish these down here. Get this all colored in. Now you'll notice I'm using the brush tip on my marker. Some of you are more comfortable using the fine point tip and that's fine. Use the side that you're more comfortable with to get your project. You know I'm trying to do this diligently and without too much delay, but when you're working in your own space, take your time, breathe, relax, enjoy the process, and do your best work. Okay, so there's my, <clears throat> there's my tree all colored in. So we're going to set him aside for a second, and that piece is done. So now we've got this happy little elf to color in and trim out. So I'm going to show you um, 
you all know how to color, so I don't need to show you the coloring. Um, I used the two greens on my elf to tie it in with the paper. Um, I'm using red as my accent color for him. And so I've already cut, colored and cut him out to save a little time. Um, this time I went with red hair. I'm partial to redheads, as those of you know me, with my two redheaded boys. So I've got the garden green and the cap and the boots. I used the old olive for the feather and the tights. And then I colored the sign in with my um, red watercolor pencil. And then I store mine in a box. And then I um, used my blender pen to smooth that out. And now I'm going to take the Wink of Stella, the clear Wink of Stella, and I'm just going to paint right over that sign and give it some shimmer. Now the Wink of Stella will spread that red watercolor pencil around too, so don't get it pooled in too many you know, single spots. Keep it moving around as you go and know that it is going to move that pencil around a little bit more like your blender pen did. So dab on some extra sparkle, why not, right? And smooth it. We don't have any spots. And then I'm just going to brush that clean like I would my blender pen. So when I use it next time, it won't pick up that red. Now here's a tip I want to show you. When I trim stuff out of paper, it tends to have white edges because, you know, none of us trim exactly on the line. So what I do is I take my black marker and I come along the side and I just edge paper that it's been trimmed and kind of give it color so that if you have something outlined in black I'm just finishing off the cut edge and giving it definition so that's a trick I found when I was scrapbooking a lot uh, when I would cut photo paper you always get that white edge of the photo paper so I would take my marker and <clears throat> shade the color. Now I goofed so I'm just going to make this bottom piece of my sign a little thicker. So you have to be careful but you can do it. Alright so there's a little pick trick there. Now out of that same Whisper White paper I'm going to use my <clears throat> shaped oval framelit and I cut a little circle here and that's just going to give the elf something to stand on. So we have our elements here to put our card together. So let's start doing that. So I'm going to bring in my snail. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the holly embossed old olive onto the face of my card. So we just want to line that up with the edges. So we're just covering the card front. Okay. Then I'm going to put the designer series paper on my garden green. So just mount that. And then that's getting dimensionals. I'm going to put one in each corner. And I'm just going to put that in the center like so. Alright, the next piece is our tree. So I'm just going to put some snail on my tree. And I'm putting them a little close to center but a little off the center so that our embellishment's kind of to one side. Alright, now I'm putting the elf and his little footing on with dimensionals. Put one for him, and I'll put two on the back of the elf. We have smaller dimensionals now too, so if you have a smaller piece you want to pop up, you could do that. So I'm putting the oval kind of down over the tree trunk, and then I'm positioning my elf like he's standing on a pile of snow or ice right there. See? Alright, so one last trick I want to show you with these cards is rhinestones. So, if you have 
a Sharpie, or if you have our blend markers, you can color your embellishments now. You can't do it with our regular markers because they're water soluble. They won't dry completely and they'll smear. But you can do it with Sharpies, which are alcohol-based markers, and you can do it with our blends, which are alcohol-based markers. And all you do is, before I mess with it, I just color it right on its thing. So our pearls, our uh, enamel dots, our rhinestones, they can all be used and colored whatever color you want. So I did these ahead of time, so I'm just going to pull this up. Remember, these have sticky dots on them. And position, woo, that one popped. There we go, try again. Put that down, and because I know it's dry, I colored them a while ago. And then I'm going to get this one up. Maybe. There we go. Get him on that boot. Woo, they're popping like crazy today. Probably would have had better luck if I had done this before I put them on the dimensionals because I don't really have a flat surface to press. So I'm going to pinch that on there. Alright, one more for the hat. There we go. It's like playing operation. Don't touch the sides, the buzzer's going to go off. No, no. Not that difficult. Alright. And there's our card. So, easy peasy. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. You know, if you want to make the card but don't want to have to mess with cutting the kit or um, you don't have the DSP, just let me know and I'm happy to send you a product share kit while my supplies are here in my stamp room until I use them on other projects. And again, all my details are on my blog or check the link and it'll take you to um, the post where all my details are. And so for now, this is our stamp and share for today. Happy holidays, everybody, and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.